All right, we're settling in now for game two of our doubleheader. Kirk McCarthy is on the mound because for the Guardians, they feel like they want to keep their rotation the way it is. And knowing how many games they have coming up, they didn't want to mess up the rotation, so they brought Kirk up. Line drive to Ramirez, and the inning is over. The Guardians are coming to bat. Taylor Hearn on the mound for the Texas Rangers. Taking the second game of this doubleheader, he's got a 3-4 and four record and an ERA of 5.48. Over 44 in the third innings, 23 walks, and 41 strikeouts. And he swings and misses. Good fastball from Hearn. And he rushes it right past him. One away. Fastball, strike three called at 96. All right, there we go. Two away. All right, so now we'll see what he does here as he will go after Jose Ramirez. That's the one two. And this is in the air. Out to the alley in right center. And what? a spectacular catch and Eli White has done it again Eli White oh my goodness the timing was impeccable the route was fantastic special play I think he's gonna have the play of the week again this is absolutely outstanding what a tremendous route to get to this baseball tremendous speed we talked about that athleticism and here it is folks great athleticism as he lays out and just barely gets it in the glove Wow. Charlie playing left field for only the third time this year. Pulls this one down to third. Ramirez will go to second for one. The throw to first gets away into the camera well, and Duran will score. They couldn't get the double play, and they give up a run. So Duran in from second. Culberson goes to second thanks to the error. Ball hit hard over to Jose Ramirez. He gets off a quick throw to Clement. Looks like Clement really doesn't get a good grip on this baseball. As soon as he releases it, it's heading into that dirt and Texas Rangers pick up a run. One, two. Miller swings and misses. Strike three. And that aggressive fastball is still in vogue here in the second inning for her. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. There's that slider and Taylor Hearn has fanned four of the first five batters today. He's working with a one nothing lead. And a swing and a miss. He got him. Hearn strikes out the side in the second. Rangers needed him to be sharp here in game two. And so far, so good. Three hits, including a homer in the opener. Had a base hit his first time up here in the nightcap. So he's definitely swinging it well. This one hit well. Deep out to left field. Back is Mercado. Gone! And there it is, <laughs> Marcus Simeon with another home run. And the hot bat stays hot. Well, that didn't take long for my prediction <laughs> to come true. Marcus Simeon, I'll tell you what, just his at-bats in that first game, he's just squaring the baseball up. And McCarty just leaves a cookie on the inner half right here. First game, he hit a pitch in off the plate. This one just down and in as he golfs this one into the seats out there, into the left field seats. Stay hot. I'm Duran and Lowe, five, six, and seven in the batting order for the Rangers here in the fourth. This ball hit well. High in the air and deep out to left, and that one is an absolute tank. Jonah Heim with a bomb to start the fourth inning. And the Rangers in front, three nothing. Jonah Heim really gets into this one, puts some backspin on it. The left fielder literally just turned around and watched how far this one was going to travel. Jonah continuing to swing a great bat right here. A little two seamer up out over the plate. McCarty knew right away. And Jonah Hunt did the same. That ball traveling 381 feet. And here's Nathaniel Lowe, who singled the opposite way his first time up. And this ball pounded out to center field. That one traveling well. It's gone. Another Rangers home run. A two run shot by Lowe. And they've opened up a 5 nothing lead. Nathaniel Lowe just jumps all over this pitch. And I can tell you what, watch his reaction once he makes contact. He knows immediately this ball is going into the seats. First at bat, rocket to left. Second at bat, rocket to center field, except this one's just a little bit further. 415 feet for Nathaniel Lowe. Look, he knew. Ramirez out on a diving catch by Eli White for his first time up. He has it, and he hits this ball hard out to left field, and White on the run, and he makes another great catch. Wow, both of these plays, 
on Jose Ramirez. One to right center field. This time, Eli White going to his right into the left center field gap. This ball not hit as hard as the first one, but it's far enough away where Lee, Eli still has to go into a slide before the wall onto the track and makes the play. It's now first and third. Nobody out for Cleveland in the sixth. Amanda Rosario will be the batter. Right back up the middle and through. Scoring is Mercado. Straw stops at second base. He jumped right on that yes. fastball and he shot it right back up the middle. Because he's been throwing strikes with it all night long on the first pitch. So they finally take advantage of it. They get a base hit. It's Rosario that does it. Give them the RBI. They're on the board and still nobody out. Bases loaded, two down. Five to one Rangers. Right back up the middle and through. Two will score. Straw and Rosario touch home. The big O. Oscar Gonzalez delivers on an 0 2 pitch with a two out two run single that they get that they gets the Guardians right back in it. But that'll drive in a pair and the young man just continues to be a clutch hitter. Simeon will lead it off. Marcus has been on all four times here in the nightcap. And this ball hit well deep out to left center. It is gone. His third home run of the day. Marcus Simeon. Four for four tonight in the nightcap with a couple of bombs. Well, the day just keeps getting better for Marcus Simeon and for the Texas Rangers. Fastball down, center cut. Oh, man, does he just drop the head on this ball. You could hear the sound of the crack of the bat all the way up here in the press box. This was a no-doubter for Marcus Simeon. Home run number three today, number five on the season. This is a pretty big pitch. Quan will be running. Rangers not holding him. The 3-2 pitch, and this one on the ground. Playable for Simeon. He throws to first and Palacios retired. This one is over. Barlow does get it done. And a highlight game today for so many guys, but what a big afternoon it was for Marcus Simeon, Eli White, and the Rangers. 6 3 the final. And certainly Tom and, uh, Taylor Hearn with a fantastic outing coming right after the Guardian hitters. Striking out five of his first six hitters, throwing first pitch strikes throughout the entire first four innings really getting it done here so ending on a good note.